Feminine men are now considered normal. Sadly, the oxymoron is real. We live in times when everything has been turned upside down. Men are encouraged to act as women and vice versa. Social agendas like feminism, postmodernism, and cancel culture are succeeding in building a world of weak men. As a result, we've seen anti-system celebrities fighting against the establishment and getting canceled for doing so. However, society says you must believe that tolerance and freedom of speech are guaranteed, when it's crystal clear that's not the case. I'm not gonna get too political, though, cause that's not the purpose of this video. I just want to show you something that goes beyond the political spectrum, meaningless debates, and rivalries between countries. And I'm talking about a war on masculinity. Masculinity is going through a complex crisis, and that's not surprising, given what the media and entertainment industry promote day and night. The madness is such that if you don't support feminism or LGBTQ+, you are considered misogynist and homophobic. Modernity advocates for diversity, sunshine, and rainbows, but promotes strict black and white approaches too if they fit their narrative. You probably think the situation seems hard for you as a man who loves masculine traits and wants to keep noble values like loyalty, strength, and accountability alive. Being a man is not easy, and we are supposed to be the breadwinners, the emotionally strong, and the defendant of the tribe. Well, if you think so, you are sure to stand out, but that's not what society expects from us anymore, even though so expect most women. Back in the day, men worked under the sun for many hours a day, ate wholesome foods, and had a mentality of providing for their families. And I'm not meaning only husbands, but also kids who started reaching adulthood. If we consider even more ancient times, men were the ones who fought the animals and went outside to get food. Essentially, they had to face lots of responsibilities, and as a consequence, developed a masculine frame as opposed to modern-day men who are just addicted to their phones, video games, and porn. Unfortunately, fast dopamine is highly accessible and men waste precious hours that they could invest in reading, doing sports, and getting more money. Low testosterone levels are just a byproduct of these harmful habits. Let me tell you something interesting that happened in my high school days. I was lucky enough to have a father who showed me the values of discipline and gratitude. He taught me the importance of eating all the food on my plate, since many kids around the world don't have the luxury to eat every day. On top of that, I joined my school's basketball team. He made me love sports. Do you wonder why I told you this? Here's the thing. Thanks to sports, I couldn't waste time on the streets as many kids did. Still to this day, they're struggling with addictions like alcohol and drugs, and even toxic women. In contrast, I do sports over four times a week, have a clean diet, and feel energized every single day. And yes, I don't have any pointless relationships. Thanks to sports, I learned social skills, teamwork, discipline, confidence, strategy, and much more. And that has helped me massively with building my masculinity and boosting my testosterone levels. These days, many teenagers and even young men are unable to do anything without the help of their parents. In fact, they are overprotected by parents who were told that scolding their kids is evil. Let's face it, if the kid misbehaves, he deserves to get scolded. Otherwise, he will end up being whimsical, capricious, and weak. Ever heard Jordan Peterson's clean up your room quote? Well, these soft men are not even able to do that because they're too busy getting rewards and feeding their lust in the virtual world. The school, tax, judicial, and tech systems are set up a certain way to kill our masculine instincts and just be docile slaves. Men are exiting the dating marketplace because of the headaches modern relationships cause. Women are getting more and more entitled because of feminism, and the list goes on and on. However, don't let despair invade you, since that's what global elites want. The people in charge of the world want more and more people to join their agendas, so they try to reach your brain all the time even when you're using your phone thinking you choose what you consume. Young men graduate from high school, and they mostly waste their time on parties, video games, and those who are a bit of a womanizer, girls. Chances are you have realized that the world has vastly changed in the last decade. If you walk down the street, you can easily notice men wearing women's clothes, and that's accepted. 
Modern men are told that gender roles are an oppressive thing of the past, and we should embrace our feminine energy. As you can tell, it's all BS, but it seems that the majority thinks that fighting for this freedom is necessary. Listen up. Crying about this won't help, but so will taking action. How can you counterattack? What can you do to dodge all the lies and narratives modernity promotes? I confess, it's not an easy task, but as men, we do what we gotta do no matter how we feel. Yes, propaganda is everywhere. Women want more and more privileges and no responsibilities. Many men are getting weaker and even more feminine by the day. And to be honest, the food we eat and the TV shows that we watch don't contribute to a successful comeback of masculinity. Rather, the opposite. None of this is accidental, it's all orchestrated. Not only institutions like universities, schools, and states support the decay of masculinity, but also many public figures, actors, and celebrities participate. There are millions of cogs in the wheel of this unhopeful fate they want for men. But let me ask you a few important questions. Have you gone your own way too? How do you feel about your environment? Does it encourage you to be a leader, or just to be a follower? If your environment doesn't help you become better and more masculine, it might not be right for you. If you want to be masculine, surround yourself with men of purpose who have their lives together. Automatically, you'll be the next one. The same applies if you choose weak men, and let me warn you, weak men are very dangerous. Why? Simply because they tend to have serious mental health issues, stab you in the back, and drain your energy. They're envious, manipulable, and obedient to authority. They basically do what they're told without questioning. Beware of them. In short, be selective with your relationships, because that will determine the value of your network. The current state of the world does not seem so encouraging, but you as a man have two options, succumb or fight. If you succumb, you accept the system that mistreats you and wants to deny your natural instincts. You choose to be submissive and give away power to people who pretend to care about you. In contrast, if you fight, you stand up for your rights, retain your power, and use it to your advantage. If that means going solo, improving your career, or making your own choices, go for it. I guarantee that if you go down this path of fighting, you'll build a happier life for yourself regardless of the degeneracy of the world. The battle is hard, but you're not alone. And before I wrap up this video, let me remember a famous quote. Tough times create strong men. Strong men create easy times. Easy times create weak men. Weak men create tough times. That's it for today's videos. What do you think? Ever realized the masculinity crisis? What habits have you implemented to protect your masculinity? Let me know in the comment section below. I wish you tremendous success. If you found this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons, comment and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.